I have to catch my breath. Okay. Hey guys, it's Mallory here. Welcome back to my channel. Very excited to share nursery organization today. So I'm starting this video today. I'm guessing it's gonna go on for several days before we have everything organized the way I'd like it. We got a ton of stuff for our baby shower. If you didn't see that haul, definitely check that out after this video. And we got a ton of stuff from Amazon. So I did link everything in that video. And if you have any questions or want any links, just let me know in the comments. I will be sharing a full nursery tour when everything is done and decorated so definitely subscribe and stay tuned for that I'm 34 weeks pregnant the clock is ticking and we have lots of exciting videos coming up that you will not want to miss but let's just go ahead and get started with organization <music> So I started out with taking all the tags off of his little clothes. So uh, we did get a lot of clothes from our baby shower and from a friend, actually a family friend gave us a ton of new clothes and used clothes from their last baby. So we were super grateful for that and I just had a ton to sort through. I wanted to make sure we had a good amount of zero to three months um, at least to start and then also just see what I needed and if there were any gaps so I might need to buy some more three to six months but other than that we're in pretty good shape and I wanted to go ahead and clean all the clothes that were zero to three months or looked small enough some of the sizing seems a little bit off let me know if I'm the only one who thinks that but different brands definitely have different sizes it looks like so um, I just wanted to go ahead and get a good amount of tags off and get these clothes washed before organizing them and putting them into his dresser. I started putting all the larger sizes on these cute little velvet hangers that I got off of Amazon. I'll link them down below. But I just thought for my own organization purposes, it would be easier to hang clothes that he's not going to fit into for a little while. That way I could see them and see how much I have and everything rather than like putting them in the bottom drawer of his dresser. But definitely stay tuned until the end of the video because I walk through all the drawers and the closet to show you how I organize everything. And I also cleaned like blankets, sheets, just everything I wanted to get clean and ready for organizing his nursery. And then now, after this video, I just need to work on the nursery decor. So stay tuned for a full nursery tour when that is done. Who knows when that will be. actually in the nursery for this part of the video so Nasheed built our Ikea dresser um, if you didn't see my last video it was setting up our nursery furniture so he built the crib and the dresser and we bought a ton of organization things so I'm very excited um, as you've seen I've been doing all the laundry for baby so now I'm gonna start actually going in the drawers and organizing things. Um, I did buy the like divider organizers from Ikea. Um, so they're supposed to go perfectly in here. And I'm just excited to start actually messing around with it and deciding where I want things to go. Look how cute this little gift is. We got this from someone at church and it has a basket holding this blanket that they handmade and then they made this little like baby out of blankets and clothes and then this little elephant so it's a full little gift i thought that was so cute What's there to say? There's nothing but space in between you and I It's okay that we change But it feels kind of strange that you're not 
So this is what they look like from Ikea. This is the brand and everything, and I think they're gonna work really well. I opened two packs and this is what came in it. So each pack has two of each size, and they should fit perfectly. My life. You're the only one that saves me when I'm alone. You're the only love that I've ever known. But we turn into a flower that never grows. I was hiding like the moon, like that never shows. I should have told you that I loved you. One more time. One more time. One more time. After watching a lot of other YouTube videos on nursery organization and people who have this exact dresser in their nursery, I decided that I wanted to do a rolling method for all the little onesies and clothes. And I also wanted to have them um, kind of like front and center. So it seems like everyone organizes this dresser a little bit differently. But like I said, I'll show you guys at the end exactly how it turned out. But I decided to just roll all the little newborn and zero to three onesies. I actually only have a couple newborn because our baby's probably going to be pretty big. But you can see here, this is how I was just kind of tucking them in. And I used two of the like rectangular ikea organizers you're the only one that saves me when i'm alone you're the only love that i've ever known but we turn into a flower that never grows i was hiding like the moon like that never shone i should have told you that i loved you one more time one more time one more time i should have told you Okay, now I'm just deciding how I want everything to go in the drawers. So um, I figured out that six of these little organizers fit in one drawer. So, I mean, that's stuff you can't reach as easily, but that's fine. I'll put like backups or something. But yeah, I just have to decide where I want things to go. So wish me luck. later and I got I think this will be like one of my final packages that I need to wash things before baby comes so I got this pack of socks and then I also got these mittens I got six I am gonna wash these in a little um, like lingerie or delicate um, protector thing because I heard that is the best way to like keep them all together rather than them getting lost in the rest of the laundry um, and then I just have one more load to do it has washcloths and just um, some other like blankets and things that I need to be clean but the nursery is coming together I'm so excited and I'm excited to show you guys the final reveal of like the drawer organization and closet organization which I've been working on more today to show you the reveal of how I am organizing baby boy's dresser and closet. So um, this is what I've been working on throughout this video over several days, but I finally have it to a place I wanna show you. Um, the top will definitely be 
changing and we'll have some hanging like shelves probably in here um, but we are going to be using this dresser as a changing table so I put that on here and then um, I might keep this and fill it with some stuff we'll see but this is the dresser it's from Ikea it's the Hymnus something like that um, dresser that a lot of people have it has these top four small uh, drawers and then some larger drawers. Let's just start over here. This is, like I said, going to be a changing table. So I have a whole changing station. So we've got water wipes, which is what I'm going to be using primarily. Um, we have a ton of these from my baby shower and these diapers. So we have the Kirkland brand ones and then some samples from like free registry boxes. Um, and then over here, I just have different ointments and creams, lotions, um, this for putting butt paste on and butt paste itself. Um, the organizers in here are from Ikea as well. Um, we went crazy at Ikea for the nursery. Um, and then I have like thermometers and all different kinds of health stuff and then some coupons and things so that I don't forget that those are there. Over here, I have a lot of his zero to three months clothes. Um, I have a couple newborn, but mostly zero to three months, and then just some extra wipes back there. But um, I really shoved these in here um, because I figure I'll be doing a lot of laundry. Things will get dirty quick, so um, it's okay for these to be pretty full right now because as I take them out, it'll still look nice and it won't be like empty. And I just did a rolling method where I can see the top and I think that works really well um, especially for like patterned onesies the only ones where um, you can't really tell what they are is if they're white with a design on it um, but we have a lot of just plain white ones too these are short sleeve these are long sleeve um, but both of these are legless so um, we'll have to put like pants on over here I used um, the little the smallest little organizers. I have um, four of those and then one of the long skinny ones. And I just did like pacifiers in here. So this will probably change. Um, all of this could change as he comes and I see what I'm grabbing for. But these are just pacifier clips. Um, we have different kinds and then we have a bunch of different kinds of pacifiers. We didn't buy very many, but you get a bunch in like any f registry free boxes. Um, like this one and then we did register for these glow-in-the-dark ones and these bibs ones and then this one which is so cute so I still have to sterilize those and everything um, definitely make sure to subscribe and stay tuned I still have a lot of nesting and prepping to do um, but I'm just excited to be doing all of this finally and having it set up I am 35 weeks pregnant so the bump it's very real and it's coming up. Um, th this little compartment has socks, they're so tiny, and mittens. This one has hats. This has bigger hats for when he's a little bit older. And then this has little slippers and shoes. He doesn't have any like actual shoes, but he's not gonna be walking for a long time. So we have some really cute slippers. And then um, these slippers are for when he's a little bit bigger. They say baby bear. In this middle drawer, I still have some space to put different things. I think um, I actually have more washcloths in the dryer, so those will be going in here maybe. Um, and then, like I said, things could definitely move around. But these are diaper, cloth diapers for um, burp rags. And these are actual like burp rags or burp cloths, whatever you want to call them. And then these are ones that my mom had made for us on Etsy. So they are the cloth diaper, but then they put the this like flannel material. And so there's all these different cute designs. I put Disney at the top because I love Disney, but these shark ones are really cool. There's like some wilderness animal ones and all sorts of stuff. So those are awesome. I will link this Etsy shop below. Um, these are just really absorbent. My sister has been using them with her four month old and or five month old and they work great. These are washcloths I got off Amazon. These are receiving blankets that we got as a gift. And then back here I have a bunch of different bibs. 
I don't think you're supposed to use bibs for like three months or something. So that's why I put them in the back. So I have the big square organizers. I have three of those in here and then two little ones. And then I of course want to still use any extra space. Then over here I have, um, these are swaddles. So these are the little flannel swaddles. This is the one where the arms go up. These are, um, the muslin, muslin, um, muslin, I guess it's muslin, <laughs> swaddle blankets. So I have a bunch of those. I have eight all rolled up in here. Then these are nursing cover or um, car seat covers. These are all his like sleepers. So they are the ones with arms and legs. These are some pants and these are like fuzzier ones. All the clothes in the dresser um, other than like some in the back or, or like swimsuits and random things are zero to three months. And then in the closet is where I put bigger sizes. So we'll go over there next. These bottom drawers are really big. So these are also from Ikea, but it's a different kind of bin. If you watch my last video, I talked about setting up the nursery. We like actually went shopping to Ikea and all that. So check it out. Um, but these are from Ikea as well. In here I have all sorts of bath towels. So this is for baths, it's like a little puppet. Um, and then these are hooded towels and different things for the bath. These are blankets. So we have this one that was handmade by a friend from church who gave this to us, so cute. And then these are fuzzy ones. And these are actually sheets for the pack and play mattress. And these are sheets for the crib mattress. Um, and all of this is washed, everything in here. Well, you saw that at the beginning of the video. <laughs> and then I still have this whole drawer. So I put some extra wipes. I think I'll probably put extra diapers. And then um, I have more organizer things. So if you are wanting to use these organizers from Ikea in your dresser, if you have the same dresser, I will tell you I bought six and I only used three so far. Plus I used one from the fourth pack, if that makes sense. So, um, yeah, I still have a bunch left. I just figured uh, I didn't want to have to go back to Ikea and I could find another place to use these organizers if I didn't need them. So I'd say if you have, if you buy like four, you'll have plenty. Um, but just depends on how you want to use them. So that's it for the dresser. I know a lot of people change out the knobs, but um, my colors are black and white, so the knobs actually work perfectly. But let's move over to the closet. So this is the first half of the closet. It's just a traditional like sliding door <laughs> closet. And I put in the this little like bookshelf, um, but I use these same bigger organizers from Ikea to conceal things because I like things to be concealed and hidden. And then I have another basket up here. Don't know where this from. This is from, it was a gift. And then some of these things obviously will be moving as we start to use them. We have a humidifier, uh, the monitor, which will be set up, a portable sound machine. This is just our like hospital pamphlet. So those all move. And then these are empty for now, but I do have these that fit perfectly up here. I think the bookshelf is from Walmart or Target. It's kind of old, but in these I have toys. So these are ones I can actually use basically right away, I think. So this is like flashcards. Um, black and white flashcards are supposed to be good for brain stimulation or something um, and tummy time distractions. This is a tummy time play mat and this comes with it. It actually came with our three in one activity center. So I will link that from Amazon, but this turns on and does music and stuff. So um, when he's doing tummy time, he can be distracted and have something to do. Um, these are toys that are um, for when he's three months and older. I have those, but they are not needed for a little while. Down here, these things will be moving soon as well, but I just wanted to, like I said, conceal everything in these basket bin things. So we've got swaddle blanket that's not for until he's at least three months. Um, the Infantino holder. 
and these are little um, stickers for like pictures when he's for milestone pictures like for different months and then this is stuff that we won't need for a long time it's something that goes with the activity center and then these bibs for when he's eating solid food and then I do have some clothes actually hanging so like I mentioned these clothes are all um, for bigger than zero to three months so I do have these that he could wear sooner um and i just hung them so that i would remember to take pictures these are like ones that match shirts nasheed and i have so i definitely want to remember to take pictures i don't want to roll those and put them away i got all these cute little velvet hangers off of amazon so i will link that and then i'm i need to get the little dividers still i don't have any of those but it's pretty easy to tell i don't have a ton of clothes but I do think he definitely has plenty for now so we have three to six months six months um, six to nine months nine months and then um, some of these are like for a year so he has all sorts of clothes we also have a whole bin in our storage room downstairs that has uh, bigger sizes for later on so we have a lot to start with up here, I just have some things that will be moving. This is a little, um, kind of like a snuggle me or a um, dock -a -tot type thing, but it's cheaper off of Amazon. It's this cute little bed. And then that's actually the mattress for our pack and play, but we don't have that set up yet. That's gonna be in our room. Then this is the other side of the closet so far, so it's pretty empty. And then on these shelves, I have more of these, so I bought, over 20 of them the last time we were there and I had already had some before then. So we have a ton of these bins and this one just has random things. So I have this bag of bottles. These are all from the free boxes that you can get for signing up for a registry. So um, Walmart, Target, and Amazon, you, you saw me do the little haul. Um, this is our baby book. Obviously that will be a picture of him. <laughs> when he's here and then I already have a memory box going this is just a shoe box but it has memory stuff in it and these are more um, things for pictures for milestones so I thought those were really cute from the free box as well so that's how I have this set up these are just empty that's how I have this set up right now this side will obviously be changing and we'll be adding more um, there's a ton of hanging space still so we have lots of room to grow in this room which is great but I think this is a really good start for the nursery and having things organized let me know if you have any questions in the comments below okay guys that's gonna be it for this video I hope you enjoyed seeing how I am organizing our baby boys nursery like I mentioned at the beginning we will be having a full nursery tour when everything is decorated and complete so stay tuned for that definitely subscribe and make sure to follow along I'm very excited for our baby boy to come and it feels like it's just gonna come so soon um, I might feel differently in a couple weeks when I'm just like let's go get out of me but we'll see i'm a first time mom and i am just thrilled to be like organizing everything and seeing all the cute little baby stuff is so fun so i hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did and i will see you next time bye